Good morning guys, it's Monday and on Mondays I like to plan my week. I like to do my food shopping and my meal planning and just a few general jobs around the house as well. I use Monday as like my getting ready for the week day. So I try not to plan like any outings for us on Mondays, mainly because I try and get all my like housewifey duties done. Mondays are also, um, I bake on Mondays. If I haven't baked on Sunday, I did bake um, on the Sunday before this vlog goes up. So I don't have to bake today, but I have a few jobs I need to do, but shopping is a big one. So I thought I would take you with me because that's what I do on Mondays. As you can see, I don't have any makeup on at the moment. I've had a shower and I've got dressed. I've started writing my shopping list and I've also started my meal planning. Ugh, just trying to get it from underneath something. So I just have one of these meal planners. I got this one from Kmart. I think it was $3, I think. Or maybe it was $5 and the shopping list was $3. I'm not sure. I used to get the ones from Kiki K, but they are out of stock at the moment. And they are way more expensive than these ones. And I've been really liking this Kmart one. The only thing is it doesn't have a magnet on the back. So maybe I'll go and see if I can buy some heavy duty magnets to put on the back so I can put it on my fridge. Oh, and that's Madison. She's just woken up. I was going to put my makeup on. I'm going to have to maybe get her up and then do my makeup. Maybe that's what I'm going to have to do. Let's go get the child because she's asleep. Oh, you can see like when there's no lights on in my house. Uh, and it gets dark and it gets dark and really, really dark. have a baby so that changes my plans which I think happens a lot when you're a mum your plans change so yes not putting a makeup on now feeding baby say hi and say good morning you just woke up didn't you oh you're grabbing it do you want a vlog Madison really likes herself in the camera don't you because I do have a flip up screen on the camera that I use so she can see herself when I am vlogging us. Do you want something to eat? So I'm gonna feed her and then do my makeup and then get her dressed and then we're gonna go to the shops. Are you looking outside? It's gonna be a really hot day today. So yes, it's gonna be really hot in Perth today. I think this is gonna be 33, which is quite warm. So yeah, let's get you fed. Hey, you want something to eat? So Madison's fed and I'm gonna sort this out before we go out. So she's in her playpen, aren't she? I've tried having Madison around when I do my makeup and she just gets into everything. So you're gonna have a little play in your playpen, aren't you? Give mommy 10 minutes to do her face. Aren't ya? Ah, aren't ya? So I'm gonna go do my makeup and I'll be back. And I'm back. So nothing too fancy, just a mum going to do her grocery shopping, still haven't brushed my hair, though I could just rock this really, really messy mum bun. But I'm really loving this new lipstick that I got recently and I'm trying to find some decent, that's better, better light, uh, that I got recently and it's this lipstick queen one and it's called Frog Prince and the reason it's called Frog Prince is because it's green so it's kind of like a lip balm lip gloss but it goes on as a, as a lipstick and yeah I got the sample size one from Mecca 
which is like $18 because the full price one's about 36 I think so I got this one just to give it a go and I'm really liking it. I think it's really good for everyday use I've seen a couple of other people use it and I know a couple of mums who use it so yeah I thought I would give it a go but it's really good just just something and if you didn't know the color does obviously go on green it changes depending on your skin tone so everyone who wears it has a different color so mine's quite pink but yeah now it's time to get this one ready to go out in the background I've been on a bit of a my child is trying to sabotage my video as I was saying I've been on a bit of a clean eating diet so I have actually been cooking Ryan and I separate meals um, I would cook what I've been eating for Ryan but they are obviously a lower calorie and they involve vegetables which Ryan doesn't eat anyway so yeah we'll do that and yeah we'll see you when we get to the shops. So we are currently in Big W. I have had a coffee and I have dropped Ryan's watch off to have a link taken out. Here's Madison, just in Big W, grabbing a few things, including matching outfits for her and her new cousin who hasn't arrived yet to wear for Christmas. You can only get away with dressing them in matching clothing for so long. But yes, just picking up a few bits and pieces just to try and get organized. November and December are really, really busy months for me because we have a whole bunch of my family birthdays, like my sister, my dad, my brother and then my wedding anniversary and then Christmas and then at Christmas it's my birthday and my father-in-law's birthday so it's really really busy so just trying to get a head start on everything to just be organized and yeah then once we've done here we're gonna go pick up the watch and then we're gonna go and do the food shop are we home are we home now <gasps> yay so we are home from the shops. I was planning to do a shop with me doing my grocery shopping, but that didn't happen because it was super busy and yeah, that didn't happen, did it, Papa? No. So we're home now and I've got to unpack the shopping and I've got to feed the two of us. And then this one's got to go for a nap at some point. Do you want to hold it? Madison's got this obsession with, oh look, you're almost holding it and now your hands going everywhere yep so that's essentially what we're gonna do we're going to yeah get all the stuff ready ready to get all the shopping out so carrying in the shopping and a baby is hard work because Madison is over eight kilos so she does weigh a bit and if you're wondering why she sounds upset it's because I tried to put her down to carry the shopping without having to carry a baby. I've started to try and put her down in a playpen with a bit of TV, but no, something's up. Might be her teeth, not sure. What are we gonna do now? Do you want some lunch? Do you want some lunch? Okay, let's give you some lunch. 
So Madison's just sucking on the spoon and this is what happens when there is a split in the pouch. So I put this pouch in the fridge before we went because it's just some fruit because I figured it's quite a hot day today. She'll probably want some cold fruit when we get home and it's just gone everywhere. But you've enjoyed it, haven't you, Bubba? That's not how you eat, that's not how you use a spoon. You're using the wrong end. I think her teeth are not necessarily giving her grief. She's been pretty good, but she definitely enjoyed the relief, I think, of the cold fruit and chewing on the silicon spoon now. I've just given Madison a strawberry in that fresh feeder so I can leave her with it and probably chewing on the strawberry will probably give her teeth or gums some relief maybe and she'll get to eat a strawberry in the meantime but that keeps her happy while I try and put away the shopping. Henry's just supervising Madison with her strawberries, aren't you kitty? Aren't ya? Yeah. Oh, you found your toothbrush. Just brush your tooth. So Madison is just sitting in front of me um, with her strawberry. So it's because I did do a come shop with me as I had planned, I just want to show you what I got from the shops. Starting off, I got a hot chicken. That's just good for me to have for lunch today. I usually do that on a Monday. I'm starting to just. I'm trying to eat healthier and it makes it easier if the chicken's already there. I just have to pull it, I don't have to cut it or anything. Strawberries, which I just gave Madison. Some had two for five dollars, which was really good. I got this newbie sippy cup, which has a straw. It does say it's for 12 months plus. Madison's nine months this week, but I think she's ready for a straw drink, so I want to try that because she does it with a bottle. She tries to suck it when it's not inverted so yep uh this fruit patch pines apple blueberry and strawberries it's eight months plus i just get a few of these madison does obviously have fresh cut fruit but these are really good at the moment while she is it's not that she doesn't like food she's just having a bit of trouble wanting to sit in a high chair and eat food sometimes it's okay but sometimes she's really she just wants to crawl because she started crawling. I got a whole bunch of pouches. This is sweet vegetable puree. These are the macro ones. If you've watched my baby favorites, I'm starting to like the macro ones. I, I tend to get the ones with meat in them because I'm usually getting like a chicken and I can shred it or cook some in. Like I got some beef for us because Ryan doesn't eat beef. Wedges for Ryan. Custard there, another thing that I get for Madison because I just, I'm not making custard myself. And these are like egg-free custards, which I'm not really sure how you get egg-free custard. So mango and vanilla, which I had last week and really liked it. Mango and vanilla. Uh, what else? I got some mini baked beans for Madison. I thought the fiber in these would be really good. And because it's hard to get Madison to eat enough food, calorie-dense foods are really what I've been recommended to give her. So baked beans usually have calories in them. Um, Vita gummies for adults. These are mostly for Ryan. I take them occasionally, but they're mostly for Ryan. Um, these yogurts, which I get for Madison, like a dollar each. And I actually discovered a new flavor, so vanilla. This is a new flavor, like apple and blackcurrant, which is kind of cool. Blueberry, banana, strawberry, and fruit salad. So I got six of those. I usually get five because there's five flavors. Well, there is another flavor and it's like beetroot and strawberry. And I just, I don't like mixing fruit and vegetables that you wouldn't mix together. So especially in the baby food section, you see loads of foods that are like this and this, like chicken and vegetables and, like, and mango, and they add it to make it sweeter, to make it more palatable. What's wrong? What's wrong? Have you dropped something? I think she's dropped her fruit. Have you dropped your fruit? Here you go. And I just realized my phone was really, really close to her, which is not a good idea. Oh, and you dropped your water bottle. One moment. Right, back to the shopping stuff. 
formula. We use the Nestle Nan Opti Pro Gold. She is on the second one because she is six months plus. Lamb skewers for myself. They're just from the, not the deli section, but the butcher section of Woolies. If you shop at Woolies, does your Woolies have like a separate butcher to the deli section? I guess I don't really go to other Woolies, so I don't really know. I'd be interested to know if it's just my Woolies. Homestyle beef burger, which I will split into, and Madison will have half and I'll have half. Free range chicken, because Brian and eat chicken. I eat chicken a lot of the time. Little bellies, uh, apple cinnamon puff things. Fortunately, these weren't on special this week. They were two dollars a packet, so I only bought a couple of packets. And my child is whinging again. What's wrong? What's wrong? It's very, very cheeky. Very, very cheeky. Asparagus. I got four bunches. They're a dollar fifty this week, not. One dollar. They have been for the last couple of weeks. What's wrong? Have your strawberry, please. You've got it everywhere. I can see. Can you pick it up. Hey. Do you want to get down? You're messy. You're such a mucky pup. Look at all this. Do you want a drink? Sometimes she's she's a really good kid most of the time, and the one time I want to film something, she's fussing, <laughs> fussing. So it's getting pretty late in the afternoon. It's pretty much evening. Yeah, it's six o'clock. It's pretty much evening now. So Madison will be going to bed in the next hour, hour and a half or so, and I'm solo parenting tonight as Ryan is out. So I'll just be getting her ready for bed on my own and then remembering to feed myself because I'm here on my own. And then here's Henry the cat. He's just snuggled up to me because he's just snuggled up to me because he's been outside, haven't you? Been a big boy cat outside. And there's my little munchkin. Hey, Madison, she decided to go over there and then has just been over there ever since. She hasn't come back yet, so I'm just waiting for her to come back. Are you coming back? Are you going to do big girl crawling? You can't get on your feet. You cannot get on your feet. I wish she understood me. She just really wants to stand up. Oh, are you rubbing your eyes? Are you tired? <gasps> Look at you, big girl crawling. Come on. Come on. She can commando crawl, but she, and she can crawl on her knees, but she just doesn't do it very often. The tiles might be a bit hard for her at the moment, but. But that's essentially it for this day in the life. I hope you enjoyed it. Just gives you a bit of insight into what my Mondays look like because most of my Mondays look like this so yeah I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up and if you aren't already subscribed to my channel I would love for you to stick around I am trying to do more days in the life but obviously we put out a weekend vlog every week and then bunches of different videos like sit downs and tags and vlogs and challenges and everything essentially that we can potentially put on our channel but yeah that's about it for today so hopefully we will see you in the next one bye guys